former presidential candidate and forum for democratic change Dr. Kizabes J. Yesterday embarked on his no neda campaign. The campaign involves buying and hawking all sorts of noise making from improvised instruments including vuvuzelas, whistles, saucepans and any other objects. It is to protest over what he alleged as the mismanagement of the country. To the Minister of Information and National Guidance, this is aimed at diverting Ugandans from the fight against COVID-19 pandemic that President Museveni is still committed to eliminate. Ugandans, you should know that whoever is mobilizing you to bang saucepans, to bang anything, you find they are your enemies. They, they hate development, they want to see you sick, they want to see you hospitalized, you should be careful before joining the campaign. I, I don't think this is the right time to begin campaigning for Noneda. This is not the right time for Noneda. We are at the battlefront. We want to see Ugandans alive. We want to see you more protected. This is the time you should follow strictly the guidelines because we have been told we have a number of community cases. The Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Judith Nabakova, told UBC that government has received several reports of a section of Ugandans mobilizing others to protest the COVID-19 measures, warning that such acts will not be tolerated. To some messages by certain opposition members of parliament that are currently saturating on social media calling for civil disobedience in relation to COVID-19 response by government. It is unfortunate that elected members of parliament and other opposition leaders have chosen to misinform the public at such a crucial time when the country, like many other, is dealing with a major pandemic, which is COVID-19. Nabakova says those dissatisfied should raise their concerns to relevant authorities. It is important that they use the existing channels, the proper channels, maybe using the floor of parliament, if not satisfied, they can write to the chairperson national task force on COVID and stop confusing members of the public. Because the more we confuse members of the public with civil disobedience messages, then we are creating a bad scenario for the public. Currently, Uganda has registered a total number of 732 cases of COVID-19, 420 recoveries and no deaths related to COVID-19. Over 446,929 people have died due to COVID-19 globally out of the over 8,299,389 people that have been infected. The minister was informed those seeking political offices ahead of the 2021 general elections that the country has enough media outlets and other alternative avenues are being discussed to allow all candidates to receive media space for campaigns. As a ministry, I would want to confirm that we have 309 radio stations all over the country, spread all over the country, giving a coverage of almost 90% that Ugandans can access radio information. 90% of Ugandans access information using radio. We have about 39 television stations in the country, and the experts are busy handling the matter they are assessing the matter and looking at ways of how electoral commission can be advised. According to the revised elections roadmap by electoral commission, candidates seeking electoral positions in Uganda's general election due early next year will have to conduct their campaigns without physical contact as dictated by COVID-19 social and physical distancing. Bernard Higa, UBC News.